hi guys welcome back to my channel and also welcome me back to my channel i've been away for two weeks i'm sorry about that but i'm back and let's get into it so i'm taking my p louise base and i'm going to create this winged out shape on my eye and that's going to be my base for my eyeshadow today i'm bringing this more down in my inner corner because i want it to be a more sharp and dramatic look than what i usually do Now I'm going to fill the rest of that area in with the base. Now I'm taking this light green shade from my Beauty Treats eyeshadow palette and I'm applying that directly on top of the eyeshadow base and this color looks lighter on the eyeshadow palette than it does on my eyes. I think because the base is a cream it kind of changes the formula and makes it look darker. Sometimes that does happen with eyeshadows. I'm going to avoid the edges of the eyeshadow base because I'm going to use another color on that area. Now I'm taking the darker green and I'm applying that on the edges of my eyeshadow and I'm doing this to give a little bit more dimension and I'm going to blend that very carefully because I don't want the shape to change. Now I'm taking my NARS foundation and I'm applying it on my under eye area and also around my mouth. And then I'm gonna take my highlighting concealer and I'm gonna apply that on top of my foundation on the under eye area only.
I'm going to finish blending this and then I'm going to go off camera to do my powder routine. I also have a video on that. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. Now I'm applying my Essence Blush and I'm going to start from the side of my nose and bring it out towards the sides of my cheeks. I'm using more blush than I usually do because I really like that look right now. I'm also putting a little bit on my nose. And then I'm going to take my Inglot bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose. I'm drawing some freckles on my face and I'm placing these few and far between from each other. I'm going back to my first bronzer and I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line. Now I'm taking this green eyeshadow from Revlon and I'm also going to apply that on my lower lash line starting from the inner corners and I'm not going to bring it all the way out. I'm just going to kind of keep it in the front over there and then I'm also going to apply it on my inner corner area. I'm lining my lips with my LA Girl Brown Lip Liner. Now I'm going to take my Dose of Colors Look at Lipstick and I'm going to apply that on top. Now I'm highlighting my nose, the top of my lips and my inner corner with the MAC Wood Winged Eyeshadow. Lastly, I'm gonna go off camera again and apply my eyelashes. And this is my final look. I hope you like it. I really like this dramatic eyeshadow shape right now. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notification button so that you can see every time I post a video. Bye!